Okay, <clears throat> so we're going to start off on your hands and knees. And I wore my droopy drawers pants, so if you see anything, you know, just ignore it. So we're going to do cat and cow to warm up your, your core and your spine as we prepare for our exercises. So inhaling, dropping your belly down, and then exhaling, arching your spine up towards the ceiling. And just going at your own breath here, just doing a few passes, looking up and moving and breathing, and just kind of feel what feels tight or what feels strong as we wake up the spine. And the movement can begin all the way in your hips, so your hips kind of like scoop forwards when you bring your chin to your navel, and then your hips kind of arch back up as you come into the, the cat-cow. I'll we'll take one or two more passes. And we'll all meet in a nice neutral spine. So from the neutral spine, we're gonna push your heart away from the floor. So you're kinda of like pushing your spine up through your scapula. And then we're gonna reach your right arm forwards. So your right biceps is in line with your right ear. And then pushing your left heel straight back behind you. So you're making your body really long. Take in a deep breath, and then on the exhale, connect elbow to knee under your body. And then inhale, extend reaching back out. And just moving at your own breath here. Exhale to connect, inhale to extend. We're gonna do five of these. There's three. There's four. One more time, making the connection. One more time, reaching out. And then coming back onto all fours. Take a second to repedal. Push your spine away from the floor again. Reaching your left arm out in front of you. And then pushing your right heel straight back away from you. Take in a deep breath. And then on the exhale, connect elbow to knee. Inhale to extend, exhale to connect, inhale to extend, exhale to connect, extend, two more times, one more for the connection, reaching out, and coming back onto all fours. Bringing your knees up to either side. When your big toes together, we're going to come all the way back into child's pose. So it's reaching your fingertips forwards and letting your bum rest towards your heels and your forehead rest on the floor. Taking a deep breath. And then we'll come on up and make your way onto your back. <clears throat> so bending at the knees. So you can just about find your heels with your fingertips. We're going to start off with crunches, straight up and down. You can do 25 crunches, either with your hands behind your head or across your chest. Either are fine, so long as you're maintaining a distance between your chin and your chest, so your uh, neck is still neutral. Start whenever you're ready. Count out 25 reps. Once you finish your 25, you're going to come all the way back down, reaching your right arm over your head. Just pause for a moment, let that right shoulder girdle open up. Then we're going to extend your left leg along the floor. Keeping your left hand over your belly button, we're going to reach up to touch your left toes. So your right shoulder blade is coming up off the mat, and then you come all the way back down. We're going to do that 15 times.
once you get to 15, switch sides. Your left arm over your head, straighten out your right leg along the floor with right hand resting on your belly button, and then connecting hand to foot. If your neck starts feeling stressed out, you can always put your right hand behind your head to give it a little bit of support. But we're still going to try and get your left shoulder blade coming up off the mat each time you come up. Once you get to 15, you can stop. Just for a second, I kind of like inch my way up the mat. So we're gonna do figure fours from here. So we're gonna cross your right ankle over your left knee and bring both hands behind your head to support your head. And we're gonna crunch both shoulder blades up off the mat. So there's no rotation through your shoulders. We're just crunching straight up and down for a set of 15. If you wanna make it harder, raise your left foot up off the floor and rub them out. Once you finish your 15, switch sides. Whichever variation is right for you is right for you. Count out 15. Whenever you finish that, just pause for a moment. Stretch out your abdominal wall, pushing out through the heels of your hands and the heels of your feet. Take in a deep breath, long exhale. Then bring your hands down by your sides as we prepare for leg lifts. So you can put your hands under your bum or just hands down by your sides. We're going to straighten out your legs and raise your legs up over your hips and lower them down just above the floor. If this puts a lot of strain on your lower back, you can bend your knees and find the range of motion that feels right for you. But we're gonna go for 25 of these. Maybe you finish your 25. You're going to bring your feet together and your knees together and bring your arms straight out to the sides. We're going to drop both knees over. I'll start on the left side. So we'll drop both knees over to the left. So both knees are still stacked on top of each other and your arms are out behind you. So your right shoulder blade is still on the floor. From here, we're going to bring both hands behind your head or across your chest if that feels uncomfortable. And we're going to try and crunch your left shoulder blade up off the mat using your right obliques. We're going to go 15 of these. So it ends up looking something like that. Try not to pull on your head as you come up, but just squeezing from right there, right on the side of your body. Once you finish your 15, come on back down, straighten out your arms to the other side, and then we'll rotate both hips to the right. Stacking one hip over the other, trying to keep your left shoulder blade down on the mat, then bring both hands behind your head, and 15 oblique crunches on this side. Start whenever you're ready. Remember your hands are there just to support your head, not pull on your head, because that's how you might 
for yourself. That would suck. Whenever you finish your 15, we're going to prepare for uh, bicycle crunches. But it's like the kind of bicycles where if you're pedaling through honey or molasses, so they're kind of slower. You can't like really go nuts through honey. So we'll bring both hands behind your head. And we'll come up to touch opposite elbow to knee and pedaling through the motion. So it looks something like that. So it's a nice slow sort of rhythm. So you've always got a leg up, you always got a shoulder blade up, and your core is pretty much always working. I'm going to go a total of 20. I don't like this. You should. Okay. Too much fun. Nobody should do this. Okay. We're going to come resting on your side. So elbow on the floor, fingertips spread wide, palm on the floor. We're going to do hip raises up and down. So with the shoulder that's supporting here, you want to stay strong and engaged so you're not collapsing through your shoulder, but you're always pushing your body away. Other hand can rest on your hip. You're going to raise your hips off the floor 15 times on each side. Your 15. Switch sides. So again, just to reiterate, pushing your body away from the floor so your shoulder is strong and engaged. Hand comes on your hip. 15 hip raises. I like to imagine there's a little candle on the floor. And every single time you get closer, it burns me out. And then you raise it up just a little bit higher. I lost count. 14, I think that's 15. Cool. All right, and then coming onto your back again. With your feet down on the floor and feet together, we're gonna to open up your knees out to either side. So just letting your hips open up. And then we're gonna put one hand over the other like you're diving into a swimming pool. And we're gonna crunch up as far as you can. Extending your hands so that they're parallel along the floor 20 times. Start whenever you're ready and feel free to use your hands to create a little bit of momentum. Once you finish 20 of those, we'll bring your hands under your hips. And we're going to do a vertical hip raise. So legs stay pretty much like this, and then you use your lower abs to kick your hips up off the floor. So it looks something like that. We're going to do 20 of those. Cool. Whenever we're done with that, we're going to come into compression. So this is where 
you imagine that you have a tiny piece of coal in each one of your palms, and you want to make a diamond by pressing it so hard against your thighs that it, you, know, you make something beautiful happen. So your knees are bent, you got a tabletop with your shins, and we're going to press your hands into your thighs and your thighs into your hands. We're going to hold this for 30 seconds, starting right now. And this is one where you could totally take it easy if you wanted to and just pretend like you're holding it or you can really push to create that deep strength deep into your core. 15 more seconds. Keep breathing even. Keep pushing hard. Five, four, three, two, one. I'm gonna there, rest on your side again, and we're gonna do rib breaks. Rib breaks are pretty much like they sound, where you're gonna rake your ribs. So same deal, your shoulders strong so you're not collapsing. I'm gonna hold a side plank, and your hand is the rake. And you're gonna reach down as far as you can under your body, rake across your ribs with your hand ending up over your head, uh, over your shoulder. We're gonna do 10 of those. There's two. those, switch sides. Come on up, nice strong body. So again, imagine that candle is below your hips as you do your rib breaks. So that if your hips start to sink, you get burned. Count out 10. Making around to your back again. We're going to come into hollow holds. So everyone who did this class last week remembers how much fun these were. So an exercise so nice, we got to do it twice. So you raise your hands up over your head, and you're going to lift up your legs and your arms at the same time, and hold for three breaths. So it ends up looking something like this. And then come on back down. We're going to try and get to ten reps. Start whenever you're ready, count out your own pace. Whenever you finish 10 of those, give yourself a little pat on the back because you did a good job. Those are super duper hard. You're going to bend your knees with your heels close enough to your fingertips and your feet are in line with your hips and your knees are in line with your hips. And we're going to push off your heels raising your hips up to the sky for hip raises. We're going to do 20 of these. So think about coming up very quickly, holding for a moment and then lowering down slow.
Whenever you're finished, come all the way back down. And we're going to talk for a second about the next exercise. Uh, I forget what they're called. Starfish? Butterflies? This Dimity's favorite, anyway. So we're going to extend out your arms and legs like you're a starfish. Take in a deep breath, and then on a strong exhale, you float all the way up whoop, into boat. So something like that. Lower back down the same way you came up. Take in a deep breath. And then exhale, coming up to balance on your tailbone. We're going to go for 10 of these. If these feel really hard, you can bend your knees and rock yourself up. Hold for a moment, and then come back down. Okay, Whichever variation you do, oh, try and enjoy them. And have as much fun as possible. Because it's Friday. Whenever you get to your tenth one, you hold the last one with your hands a little bit higher up. Raise your hands over your head and then slowly come all the way back down to the floor. And then we'll make your way onto your tummy. Okay. So, Superman's to sombreros. I mean, Superman to cactus. So, hands are out in front of you, feet are away from you. What we're gonna do is fly up like Superman, bend your arms so you look like a cactus. Straighten arms back out and then come all the way back down. You can go for 10 of these. Go slow, go with range of motion that feels safe and comfortable. Floating up, performing scaption, extending out your arms and coming all the way back down. And if at any point this feels like, oh, this is hurting my back, you can always rest in child's pose. I think I have one more to go. Whenever you're done with that, we'll come back into child's pose, stretch out your lower back. Just for a few breaths. make your way forwards to come into our forearm plank. So for this plank we're going to do an around the world plank. So the way it's going to look is you're on your forearms, right? And we're going to lift one arm up for 15 seconds, other leg up for 15 seconds, other leg up for 15 seconds, other arm up for 15 seconds. Alright? And we're going to start three, two, one. Good. Raising your right arm up. Trying to keep your body level with the floor so you're not rolling open through the shoulders, but your hips are still level. Bringing that right arm down, raising your right foot up off the floor. Five, four, three, two, one. Left foot up off the floor. And keep your hips down towards the mat. Five, four, three, two, one. Left arm up off the floor. Five, four, three, two, one. Ugh. Too much fun. Come to sit in a comfortable position. If you want to sit on a pillow, 
for this next little bit. You don't have to, but it's kind of nice to treat yourself every now and then. So you're going to reach both hands up over your head. Drop your right arm down by the side, reach your left arm over your body, and then bend at your right elbow to come into the stretch as deep as feels comfortable. Rolling your left shoulder blade over your right and take the gaze up towards the ceiling. Inhale deeply and exhale completely. Two more breaths. Pushing off the floor to come back up and switching sides. Dropping your left hand down and then bending at the elbow and extending your right arm across your body and then rolling your right shoulder blade over the left and taking the gaze up towards the ceiling. On the exhale, push off the floor to come back up. And glitter fingers out to the sides. Jazz hands if you want to. Give yourself a pat on the back. If you're with someone, give them a pat on the back too. You all did a good job. You made it through core workout. Join me Monday morning for a full body workout. Uh, and it's, it's like this, only a lot harder. And a lot more jumping around and stuff. So I'll go and unmute everyone and we'll see if you've thought of a good joke over the last 30 minutes.